the Adult Day Center is a part of Holy Cross Hospital um, that's open to any adult, 18 and older, who basically would benefit from the program. And, you know, essentially um, the folks we serve are seniors and the majority of them are suffering from some kind of memory loss. So our program is providing a safe place where they can be in the day um, and not only cared for, but have activities to do, have people to talk to. Um, We try to call it the adult day center because daycare sounds, has kind of a little kid connotation and somehow it seems a little degrading, but um, but essentially, you know, a, a lot of our service is trying to provide respite for caregivers who need either a break during the day or they're actually adult children who have to go to work. I think how um, much the participants enjoy coming and how connected they feel to our center. It's a relatively small center. There's only 30 participants, but they... So we we get to know them very well, and there's some who have been coming not only for years but decades. Um, we opened in '84, and we've had people here since '86 who are still here. Um, and so I think the, they they and their families know um, how how much we care about them and their well-being and their family's well-being and the trust that they put in us to to take care of them um, is is probably the most rewarding part. I really am so, oh, I'm not overwhelmed, but just aware of, especially for seniors, how many losses they go through um, with not only their health and not being able to move like they used to, but, you know, they're they're often alone. Um, They may have lost their spouse. Um, So many who haven't had children or just close family nearby to support them. Um, So there's a lot, a lot of losses that they endure. And um, and so I feel like giving him, giving them as much respect and, and goodwill at this time of their life is, is kind of a privilege through. Um, yeah. And even though it's a natural part of life, it doesn't mean that it is easy. Our goal is is social interaction and stimulation and that connectedness. Mm-hmm. And I think that connectedness is probably the most important thing we give them is that they feel they belong and they have mm-hmm. friends and they have people who care about them. And so today we'll celebrate John Ford's birthday. Um, and... Yeah, um, and we really celebrate as much as we can. Not only birthdays, we celebrate anniversaries, we celebrate Independence Days, we celebrate anything we can think of. Um, but birthdays are the most important because it, it's that moment to say, you know, that we care about you and you matter to us, and we're glad you were born. And it's a small thing to sing and give them a cake, but it it's. It's not small to them.